guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. I'm just trying to straighten that up. Is that straight? No, it really isn't. Okay, is that? I, I don't know. I think that's even worse. <laughs> okay, how have you all been? I hope you've been well. I've been pretty good. Um, getting lots of stitching done and I meant to make a video two weeks ago and then a week ago and I haven't. I dyed my hair this morning. It's blue and purple. It looks really cool, right? Actually, my husband did it for me. <laughs> um, he's a multi-talented man. He didn't even know he could do that. So let's just get straight to the stitching and stuff. I've got quite a lot to show because it's been a month, like five weeks maybe since my last video. Um, I made some project bags, yay. Uh, so I've been experimenting with different weights of interfacing inside them. This one, is some of the Liberty fabrics I got at Liberty in London. Liberty of London? Liberty in London? I think it's Liberty of London officially. Um, it's that really lightweight fabric and I used quite a heavy interfacing in this um, and I'm not a super fan of it. I don't like the thick interfacing. That's the inner that I put in. This is actually um, a different lawn. It's not Liberty, it's Lycian. Um, but there we go. There's one, and I think it's just really pretty. I love this fabric, it's gorgeous. Uh, I think this light is too bright again. Sorry, there we go, that's better. Uh, and this is another one I made. This is just some scraps that my mum had from her shop. This is William Morris fabric, and some pretty check on the inside. So that's fun. This is a much light, lighter weight interfacing, so I'm going to use this light stuff all the time now because it does have enough sort of thickness. It gives it some structure, but it's not too thick and heavy and it doesn't take up space on the inside of the bag. Um, and here I have six more bags cut out and ready to go. It's all Chila Pink fabric. Um, yeah. Ooh, so pretty. So that's six bags right there ready to go. It's just um, a matter of when I feel like sewing. I'm not enjoying sewing. I like having the bags. I don't enjoy the process of making them. Um, the tutorial I use for this is um, Primitive Stitcher, Suzette. Um, she has a fantastic tutorial. I will link it below um, for anyone else who wants to make their own bag. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I don't make these very well. I'm not a good sewer. I was having, I was struggling with my machine a bit. So, but I'm happy to have them and now I can use them. Um, I've been stitching. I have. I've been working on my and a forest screw. What can I put behind here? Come on. That'll do. And a forest screw. Um, if you don't know, I'm doing this two motifs every weekend. Um, so for example, today, this morning, I did the little mouse and this big tree. Um, last week I did, I think I did the bird and that big tree. Um, so every weekend two motifs and I'm getting through it. Um, this is the edge of the chart, the very end. So I started on page 8 in the bottom left hand corner and I've come all the way across. This is the bottom right hand corner. So now I'm going to head up. Um, page 14 here, I'm going to head up into page 7. And then go backwards that way. And then I'll be done. So that's really good. I am like pretty much kind of halfway. There's some of the the main tree in the middle on the bottom few pages that I haven't done, but I'm calling this almost halfway and I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, so that's good. Had a few finishes. Um, I'm really aware that um, Year of Whips is still going on. I have until December 18th to finish 13 whips because I nominated 25 and you only have to finish half of them. <laughs> um, and I knew that when I nominated the 25 whips. So at this point I have now finished 11, um, so only two more and I've, uh, I haven't made my goal, my goal was to finish all of them, but I have completed a sufficient number to have passed the challenge. Um, so Year of Whips is um, on the Soulful Stitches Facebook page, so if you're interested go and have a look and you can maybe sign up for next year. I'm not sure if I loved doing it. I, don't, I'm, I shouldn't talk in past tense because I'm not done yet. I'm not sure if I love doing it. It did keep me on track to make some finishes. But I think I'm pretty motivated to make finishes when I'm ready for them anyway. 
Um, but it's been sort of hanging over, hanging over me for a few months and making me anxious and making me worry that I won't meet the goal. Even though, you know, stitching's supposed to be fun, there's no prizes for, oh, I think there is actually a prize, but, but I'm not in it for a prize. There's, there's no, you only stitch for your own satisfaction. So, you know, if you finish things or don't finish things, you're the only one who's accountable. Anyway, I did have a finish. I've had a few finishes. This is one of them. This is the silver medieval sampler. And it looks so washed out in this picture. Uh, yeah, the colours you're seeing back there are a lot more accurate, I think. This is the Silver Medieval Sampler by Dessans DHC. Um, it's out of print. Please don't ask me. I've already passed this chart on um, to a person who said it was one of their unicorn charts. And I'm very... <laughs> unicorn charts, get it? <laughs> um, and I'm very happy to pass it on to her. So just give you a bit of a close up. That moon is so pretty, isn't it? Um, and that alphabet is very cool. And at the bottom, a unicorn and a fountain and a rabbit and a tree. Um, so yeah, I know that some of these colors do blend in. There's a key there that you can barely see. Oh, look at the color. That color you're seeing right there is perfect. No, 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 no. Oh, my color's changing. It's going green and blue. There you go. That's the, that's the, that color you're seeing there is the actual color of this. So yeah, um, that's the Silver Medieval Sampler by Desans DHC. I stitched most of this while I was on my honeymoon in Europe. Um, yeah, I know that some of the colors are fading in, but I don't mind at all. I like the sort of look of it. It looks like it's all just part of the fabric. This fabric is 32 count opalescent Belfast um, called River Sticks from under the sea fabric um, and it's really cool I love it I'm so glad I got opalescent because I just thought a bit of sparkle would really be good for this design and I think it is I think it's gorgeous so yeah I'm very happy with that it's one that was in my stash for 10 12 13 a lot of years and I just never started it and I'm really pleased to have it done and every time I look at it, I'm going to think of my honeymoon. Honestly, the amount of time I spent on this at Nürburgring waiting for Tim to do his racing cars and in that stupid hotel in Berlin. Long story. Um, yeah, and uh, Luxembourg City. So many places I worked on this. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with that. I, I'm like really happy with it. Um, okay, I had another finish. Uh, this is a year of whips finish. Where's the picture? I thought I got the picture out. Right, so um, it's part one of this Silver Creek Samplers Sing a Sampler series. There are four parts, obviously. So Do, Re is what I finished. And there they are, Do and Re. I'll turn this back on. There you go, Do, Re. Um, and I think it's super cute. Um, I did make a little change on this. See the grass here under the deer? Um, the colour it called for was chamomile from Gentle Arts, chamomile. And chamomile was like about this colour of the text. It was very browny yellow. And I thought, I don't want brown grass. Sorry, I don't. So I went and grabbed a Victorian Motto sampler thread. I tried to get a sort of yellowish green. This was called Wilted Leaves from Victorian Motto. And that's what I used. So, yay. I think this is just so cute though. The little, I just... It's so cute. I love it. I'm really happy with it. My needle mind is cute, right? <laughs> um, other needle minder was a wooden piece from Pork Chop Show um, on Etsy, and I just stuck a magnet to it. So that was another year of whips finish. Yay. And my third year of whips finish was page eight, this page here, of Game of Nouveau. Um, this is charted by Gecko Rouge. The art is by Medusa Dollmaker. Um, if you've never seen the full picture, I'm not put it here, um, because I didn't get it out. Ah, oh, it's right here. Good, because I don't want to edit. <laughs> That's the picture. That's what it will look like when it's done. I think it's actually called The Gamer, not Gamer Nouveau. But yeah, that's her. And that, no, don't fall, don't fall. Oop. I'm dropping everything. And that's what I've done. As you can see, just a tiny little bit of the top left hand corner. <laughs> I have a long way to go. Um, so yeah, this is page one up here. This is page eight down here. 
Um, next I'll be going page two. I'm going to work across the chart. I was going to work down and I thought down would be a great idea. But then I thought, what if I decide to put this on a scroll frame one day? If you've stitched all the way down here, then um, the scroll frame, when you, when you roll it up, it's going to get really bulky just here, just on this section. And then I'll have no tension over here if I start working that way. So I decided that's not a good idea. I'm going to work horizontally. And that's probably why the rest of the world works horizontally on their full coverage pieces. Like, it makes perfect sense now that you think about it. But I just don't think about things. Um, so the next thing I, the main thing I've been working on since I saw you is Sarah Brazier. I'm still working on this and I have quite a lot done. Oh, that picture of the fabric there is really good. You're getting a really good idea of the colour. Um, I want to turn this up. It's a bit better. So yeah, I have been working a lot on this. I finished this top row here. Um, and then I came down onto the second row of pages, as you can see. Um, and I'm nearly finished. I've just got one, one and a half pages left. Um, and I hopefully will finish this by Monday, maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday this week. Um, and when I finish this row, I'm going to get another finish because I have two more finishes for your whips. Two more finishes I have to get. And the one, the next one I'm going to finish will be this. Oh, this one, the one at the top. Is Bella Butterfly um, from Nora Corbett. Bella Butterfly and Bella B. Both of these are in here. I finished Bella B last year. So I'm, I'm making good progress with this. I'm stitching the skin on her over one, as you can maybe see. And it's taking a very long time. <laughs> um, it does that. These are actually really time consuming because, especially stitching the skin over one. But if you look at this, the whole background is filled in. Just takes a really long time of just solid stitching um, but they're really cute lots of beads and stuff on her I like them a lot I think she has chronic as well I'm pretty sure so she'll be lovely when she's done and she'll finish I'll finish her off in a week so that's good that'll be another finish and then my last finish will probably be one of the letters on the prairie school alphabet <laughs> I just got a message on my Facebook group um, so that's my progress and my finishes. I have a tiny bit of haul, but not much. Um, I've been working really hard in my mum's shop. Mum has been away for the last month and she's away still for two more weeks. So um, she has an Etsy shop. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the name at this point because I don't want you ordering. I'm too busy, I'm so busy. I'm spending probably 12 to 15 hours a week there. Um, I'm busy. Some, I think last week was more like 20. It was a big week. Um, so I've been working hard there. It's been taking up some of my stitching time. But as a reward, mum has paid me some money and I have gone and immediately spent it. Um, I made a big order with the S player and another big order with the Scarlet Letter. And they're both on their way to me now. And the next video, I should have some good haul to show you. Um, yay, it's really exciting. I'm really happy. Um, but I don't have any of that exciting haul here today. I've just got a few small things. So I got my fabric of the month from X Jew Design. Um, as you know by now, if you've been watching me, she always sends a freebie chart um, with her fabric. And she has actually started a stitch along. So if you want to join in this stitch along, um, there is a Facebook group where she will be posting this chart. Um, Called traditional Hungarian X stitching cell by X Jew Design. So if you search traditional Hungarian cell, you'll probably find it. This is she always sends a free floss, and this is the one she sent. It's called Baby Boy and Baby Girl. And as you can tell, it's pink and blue. And the fabric for this month, I get 46 count Bergen linen. And here it is. It's folded in. So you can't see right through it. Isn't that cool? Oh, love it. It's really nice. Really nice. It's called, it's called, it's called Dark Mountain. So love this. In love with it. Don't know what I'll use it for, but it'll be something fantastic. So 
I just renewed this fabric of the month for another six months because I'm in love with it. But I decided to go to 40 count. I have one more month of 46 count. And then for the next six months after that, I've renewed for 40 count. Just so I've got, I have a lot of 46 count now because not only have I been getting this fabric of the month, but I got a couple of other pieces of 46 count from Silk Weaver a few months ago. I showed you. Um, so I've got quite a few pieces of 46 count. I'm going to 40 count because I need more. I need more. Um, I've been really tempted. Oh, I also got my Victorian Motto sample threads. But I already put them away. So I can't show you. Um, I've been getting the 12 threads a month of the limited edition uh, sampler threads. What are they called? Primitive threads? Right. Um, but getting them every other month. So I get 24 at a time. But I'm really tempted to increase my subscription. I want to also get her fabric and I want to also get the 12 non-primitive, the, the regular threads. So I'm thinking of, in, of like increasing my subscription with her and getting a lot more. Not sure if I will. Um, have to think about money and stuff. <laughs> I've cancelled, I've cancelled two Fabric of the Month clubs in the last few months, um, which is very good. Good Tash, good girl. Um, but I'm so tempted. Those flosses of hers are wonderful and I want more. <laughs> that's that's what it comes down to basically. I just want more as fast as possible. I missed out on the Bewitched box. Um, she had a box that had 12 different blacks and greys and I missed it. I'm really, really sad. Um, I think she has a waiting list going on her website so I'm probably going to write to her and get on my waiting list. And since I'm writing to her I may as well just increase my subscription, right? Since I'm writing the email, I may as well. How cool is that, guys? How cool is that? Um, okay, so I made a little order from um, Jen's Stitching Niche. Niche? 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 Oh, there it is. Okay. I just ordered three charts. Um, and one of them is this one, Prairie School of Prairie Fairy. There are three of these and I want them all. Um, I have actually ordered the other two, but they're going to my American address, so I won't get them for a few months. Um, um, and I got two Shakespeare's Peddler charts. And these are two that I actually mentioned in my last video. And after my last video, I had just talked about them and I decided to just go and buy them because I'm worried I'll never see them again. These aren't on Teresa's Kitten Stitcher store. So I knew they were at Jen's shop, so I just bought them. Um, this is... A Weary World by Shakespeare's Peddler and it's a Christmas sampler, sorry. Um, so you can see the reflection of the video in the chart. <laughs> um, so yeah, and it says The thrill of hope, a weary world rejoices and yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Isn't it pretty? So pretty. Um, yeah, I love that house. You know, I... Houses. I avoid houses. I don't buy patterns with houses on them because I hate stitching them. I love the look of them. They're so cute, but I hate stitching them. I hate stitching them. Ugh. Um, I don't know. They're just monotonous and massive blocks of colour and, and they take a long time and solid stitching. I just don't enjoy them. So, oh well, I bought one. I generally avoid samplers with houses and with overly religious... Um, uh, verses or motifs yeah so anyway I got this one there and actually I'm looking at another one right in front of me with a house on it too so I try to avoid them but I can't always resist um, the other Shakespeare's Peddler chart I got from Jen was two angry birds and I talked about this last week when I was talking about the little by little this and that sampler so I think there must be a tradition of samplers about the two birds having a fight because it's the same kind of story the other one was the story of this woke up early and got the worm and that was really pissed was and that was really annoyed at this excuse me I'm sorry um, this one says these birdies perched on flowering tree this side and that as all may see are not on speaking terms for this one for this one waking stole away and while that slept at break of day it up the early worms 
It's it's difficult to read because the first letter of each word is um, a different colour and I can't quite see it coming off the fabric. But it's so cute and I want to stitch both of these even though they have the same story and this, the same motif. They're not the same. They're similar. They're not the same. But I love them both. <laughs> um, and then Jen sent a little freebie. la -di da freebie. Oops. That's a free chart. Whatever. That's fine. You can't stitch it from that. Um, and I got this one on eBay. As I told you, I'm collecting little by little samplers. And this one is called My Work. Let's see up here it says My Work. W-U-R-K. And I think it's just cute. And it's like a little girl did it. And it's adorable. I love it. So I got that one. Then I was at my mum's house. Um, while she's away. Um, oh, because I was going to make that order for the Scarlet Letter. I knew my mum had a lot of Scarlet Letter charts. So... She said to me, make sure you go through my charts and make sure you don't get any doubles. I'm like, good idea, Mum. I don't like my mum having her own stash because um, really it's going to be mine one day. <laughs> or if I ever just want some of it, I'll just go and say, hey, Mum, can I stitch this one? Thanks, I'll bring it back in a year. Um, <laughs> it's good. But the same goes both ways. Like if she wants to stitch anything of mine, of course she'll just come in and borrow it. Um... What was I going to say? Oh yeah, so while I was going through her patterns, I found one that I decided I needed to borrow. And it's this one. Actually, I'll take it out. It is Threads of Gold. It's called Spanish Sampler. And there it is. It's beautiful. I love it. It is absolutely beautiful. I have a real thing for Spanish and Mexican samplers at the moment. Um, quite a few of the ones I ordered from um, the Assembler. And maybe the Scarlet Letter? No. Um, but I've got a few more coming, is what I'm saying. So, maybe next video I will show you all of my Spanish and Mexican samplers that I have. Because there's a few. And I like them all, and I want to stitch them all. I want to stitch everything. Um, yeah, so next video I might show you a bit of Mum's shop. I might show you a bit of her... I might just show you a little preview of her... Um, because she has a lot. She has every sample book you can think of. She has a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, it's like a whole library full of sample books there. Anytime I want one, I'm just going to go and borrow it. It's amazing. Um, I think I might start this before next video. There's a few things I want to start. I'm thinking, I have been thinking a lot about starting. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to become one of those people who just starts everything. I don't care how many whips I have anymore. I just don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Stitching is for fun. If I'm kitting things up, which I'm going to keep kitting things up while I can afford it, I may as well start them. What's the difference? If they're sitting there with one stitch in them or if they're sitting there with no, like, with no stitches in them. So if I ever resell them, they'll be worth a bit less if they're not, you know, a complete unopened, untouched kit. But at least I got some pleasure from it. I feel like my journey with a piece starts when I see it online. And I search for it and I finally buy it you know at a good price and then I find the fabric and then I find the threads I want and then I get it all together and then I start it and then I stitch it and then when I finish it I'm done with it so I don't need things done I need things in progress that's what makes me happy so I think I'm gonna start everything like everything um, but I might finish Sarah Brazier first <laughs> or at least I might get a lot more done on her um, if you weren't aware, the reason I want to stitch her is because Nicola Parkman, uh, this is from Hands Across the Sea Samplers, and the lady behind Hands Across the Sea is called Nicola Parkman, and she's doing a competition where if you fit, this was the Queen of the May sampler, came out on May 1st, it's a limited edition, next year she'll do a new Queen of the May sampler, and if you finish this sampler by next May, she's giving away an actual antique sampler, so that's why I'm motivated to finish this. Um, and I will. I really feel that I'll be able to easily. It's only been about a month and I've done an entire row. Um, so, And I've had three finishes in the same time. So I... Oh! Sorry. I knocked the camera. Um, so I definitely feel it's achievable. And once it's done, I'm just going to start everything and stitch everything and make myself happy. If I sit sort of on the side, does that make it better? Does it look straighter? Alright guys, I'm just going to wrap it up. I'm sorry everything's crooked. I'm sorry if I've been weird this video. Hopefully I've been better than last video. I just 
was so jet lagged and out of it last video I couldn't even speak in a straight sentence I'm having trouble right now as you can tell and I'm not jet lagged this time what's my excuse um okay I'm gonna let you go um go and watch somebody else's video have a great day enjoy your stitching and I'll see you next time Bye bye